Good morning, my lovely students. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Before saying anything, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much. Um, because you're working hard and I can see all your work on Class Dojo. I am so proud of you. So I want to remind you to get a piece of paper and pencil. Kindly write the day and date. So it's mathematics time and here is the title of the lesson. I need your help. So let's read the title together. Subtract from a two digit number. So can we read it one more time? Subtract from a two digit number. What I want to say is we have learned how to subtract from a two digit number before and today we're going to revise it. So, put your hands in the air, clap your hands five times and say, I am ready. So, here is the mental math. I want you to read carefully the numbers and write the answers. Once you are done, there is a video here and we're going to watch the video together. The video is about how to subtract from a two-digit number. The problem of the day is to find that is number seven even or old. So I'm gonna or we're gonna watch a video together. This video will help you to differentiate between even and old numbers. So let's watch the video. Let's look at this top row right here and count how many magnets we have. Here's one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and put them into pairs. This is a pair and this is a pair. So four is an even number because it can be put into equal pairs. Let's look at the next row. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Some of you are probably already catching on and you can tell right away. Is this an even or odd number? Well, let's see. Let's put these into pairs and figure out if this is going to be even or odd. Let's circle these two, and these two, and these two. Look, if you said even, then you are right, because they can all be put into pairs. Great job. There are six magnets here that can be put into pairs, which makes six an even number. Now let's look at this last row. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go ahead and put these into pairs to see if we have an even or odd number. Let's put these two together, and these two together, and these two together, and, uh-oh, we can't put this into a pair because there's not another magnet to pair it with. Right away, we should recognize that this is going to be an odd number. We realize we can't put it with anything else, so seven is an odd number. So let's do our work. Uh, we have task number one, two, and three. So you can do all of them or you can choose which one you want to do. It's up to you. Here is, uh, here is task number one. Uh, I want you to find the difference. And remember, if there are not enough ones to subtract, then you would need to regroup. And also remember, more on the floor, we need to knock the door and ask for 10 more. Let's move to task number two. Also, you're gonna regroup the 10 into ones to subtract the ones column, then subtract the tens column. Um, and here also task number three, you need to find the difference. So, thank you.